Welcome back to all live coverage here on Cybus TV of the final day of Cybus 2022 here in Amsterdam at the Rye. I've just finished playing my games over in the corner and I've hot-footed it all the way back onto the conference floor to have a look at some of our stands. Now, it's not just about the delegates who are in and out and the people leading the plenary sessions that make Cybos what it is, but it's also the stands that are here as well. And we thought we'd catch up with someone who's been running one tirelessly over the last few days. Uh, days. Amelie from Zumo Enterprises. Uh, it's, it's, it feels a bit calmer out here today, a little bit calmer. Are you, are you just taking a breather after what must have been a manic week of Cybos? It's been really amazing. Went to the Inno Tribe uh, party last night, which was fantastic. So today really is like chilled. We had a very busy Cybos, loads of like meeting. The banks are really now opening up to crypto. So oh, it's been fantastic today. Chill. <laughs> Sounds like you've had a busy but an enjoyable and a fruitful uh, week. What's it been like being back at Cybos in person, first and foremost? It's been such a strange time these last couple of years, and I think we've all made do as well as you could expect. But be, there's nothing quite that beats that face-to-face -face connection, especially in an industry such as this. It's been great to be back in person. There's been a lot of talk about the metaverse, though, and will we be here in three years or will we be completely in the metaverse from a sustainability point of view it makes sense to go in the metaverse but the connection are real when you're in person right i love that so yeah it's been great really good perhaps we should just make the most of it while yeah. we can before they <laughs> upload us all in in years to come so tell me a little bit more about zuno zuma enterprise it says on the sign here we intelligently embed crypto into your infrastructure seems simple enough but Simple things are rarely as simple as they seem. Yeah, so uh, Zumo Enterprise is a crypto as a service platform. Uh, so we basically help the banks to embed crypto in their infrastructure, as you just said. Um, so that it means like from a technology point of view, but also like we look really holistically at everything that a bank would need to consider when they are considering offering crypto to their customers. And that includes from an education perspective, uh, how do they educate, the next wave of people who are going to adopt cryptocurrency. Then from a sustainability point of view, uh, we have done a quite a lot of like, work on decarbonizing crypto. So this is leading the pack. We started like with a lot of research. Last year, we launched a pilot project where for every Bitcoin that was purchased um, by Azumo, we were buying renewable energy certificates, which then uh, incentivize and send a very strong signal to the renewable market. So as an industry, we can lead the transition to the renewable uh, much faster. So that is really like where the banks are see the value is that now they can manage the risk of integrating crypto and they can do it also in a sustainable way. And, uh, and your experience with Cybos this week, being so close to the Swift Inner Tribe stage, which is just way over there. We've spent a good amount of time there. How, how difficult has it been not kind of running to and fro to be able to like soak in as much information as you can, whilst also maintaining yourself on this stand and giving people the information that you're here to give? It's been good. That stage has been absolutely amazing. The talk about metaverse, crypto, digital identity, um, we saw that it was absolutely rammed, which has been great for us because obviously people have been like coming in, but also like the Discover stage up there and the conferences, um, the conferences. So it's been really good location. The content has been just spot on, uh, and we're very, very encouraged to see like how crypto this year is making. Um, the headline and really attracting all the all the the attendees. And I guess you're already hoping that perhaps you get just as good a spot at Cybos 2023. Have you got thoughts for 2023 already? Toronto, that's great, isn't it? That actually was my first Cybos in Toronto in 2017. Um, so I'm really, really excited to go back to Toronto. We think of taking a much bigger stance uh, at Cybos because really we see that the value um, and for us is great because obviously all the banks are represented here and the conversation has been really amazing. So maybe bigger, we will see. <laughs> well, as long as you save a space on your stand for Cybos TV, we'll hopefully see you down at Toronto. Emily from Zuno Enterprises, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah.